Namaste, yogis. Welcome. Thank you so much for watching. So for today's practice, I have uh, something special. I found this class plan from um, my teacher, Friedel. And this is a class that she used to do, she used to teach. So we're going to try to follow, follow it. Um, I might change a few things because there is one part where we do plow for five minutes. So I think we'll skip that. But other than that, we're going to try to keep going uh, with what she uh, suge suggests, plus some of the some variations that I will give you. All right, so we're going to start from standing. And we're going to go towards the back of the mat. And instead of Tadasana, you want to bring your feet maybe mat width apart or so. Relax your toes, shift the weight back, and try to bring your uh, pubic bone slightly forward. Keep your rib cage in and release your hands by your sides. Palms face forward. Close your eyes and take a couple of long deep breaths here. And so you want to think on where in your body you're putting the weight, whether it's left or right. If you're putting weight on the outer edges of your feet mostly, or you are able to put some weight on the inner edges as well. Are your arches collapsing or can you let your arches, li arches lift? And so if you find them, they're collapsing, you can engage your quads and lift the toes and think about pressing the toe mounts on the ground. Throw your blades together and push your fingertips down towards the floor. So activating your asana. As your asana is still but active, continue to observe the breath. It will start changing. Your quads are engaged. Your glutes are engaged because you're putting the weight back onto the heel. So in order for you to find your center of gravity, you need to um, adjust your pelvis and bring it to neutral. And to be able to do that, we need to engage the buttocks. Think about a string coming out from the crown of the head, pulling you upwards, elongating your spine. We're going to take two more breaths, full deep breaths. And when you are ready, tuck your chin onto your chest and bring your eyes open, bring your gaze forward, release your posture, walk your feet. Now from here, with your feet wide apart, squeeze in your bums, relax your hands by your sides, bend your knees, and as you inhale, reach your arms up, extend your body, and maybe follow the hands. And as you exhale, bend the knees a lot, or as much as you can, send the weight to the heels, and swing your arms behind you. It's almost like the breath of joy, but we're not going to do the three, uh, the three breath uh, pattern. Inhale, reach up, extend your arms, your legs, gaze maybe up, watch for the neck. You can keep your gaze forward and exhale down. With control, inhale, extend and reach up and exhale, bend. And inhale, reach and exhale down. Find your rhythm. We're not going fast, nor we are letting the head dangle. We keep the gaze somewhere on the mat. We keep engaging the glutes. It is okay if your body uh, can go onto a gentle back bend. You can do that, but you don't have to. You can stay up here. You can keep your gaze forward, all right? So really check what will work for you today. Stay up as you inhale, and as you exhale, bend your knees, reach up with your arms, 
and start hinging forward. Watch for your body. Maybe once you get halfway, you release your hands onto the floor, you can round your upper back. Breathe. Your knees are still bent. Bend your knees more and inhale, arms forward and come up. Squeeze your bum, watch for your back, maybe back bend. And exhale, again, halfway only. And inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach. And exhale, draw your navel in, bend your knees, send your weight back, come halfway. You can stay here or release your hands down, maybe let your uh, upper back relax. Watch for your lumbar spine. You don't want to bring any pressure there. If coming up with your arms is too much for your back, don't. Have your hands on your thighs, come halfway. And then from here, swing your arms again, reach up. And exhale, we go down. And inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. Next one, inhale. And reach up, bend the knees, weight back, halfway. And once you can stay here, you can bring your hands to your thighs. Or you can bring your hands all the way down. Maybe let your upper back. As long as this is not putting pressure back, remember? Inhale, halfway. Reach your arms back. Inhale here. And exhale, come all the way up. I mean, <laughs> inhale, come up. And exhale once again, down. And inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, reach down. Inhale, up. Exhale, halfway. Inhale up, halfway again. Inhale up, one more halfway. Inhale up, squeeze your bum, weight to the back and go down. Inhale up, and halfway. Inhale up, and halfway. Inhale up, halfway again. And inhale up, take it all the way down. You can stay halfway with your arms extended, or you can reach your hands down. You can stay here a little higher with your upper back, or you can let your upper back round once again, if your uh, lumbar spine is okay with that. You may let your head dangle, maybe move your head side to side. Make sure your toes are not gripping. And next time you inhale, bring your hands on your thighs, come halfway. Exhale here, shoulders into its sockets. Inhale, walk your hands up. And exhale, shoulders back and down. We'll take a few moments here. Notice your heartbeat and notice your breath. Awesome. On your next breath, bring your hands on your hips. And bring your feet a little uh, closer together about Tadasana. Squeeze your buttocks and bring your hands behind your neck. Interlace your fingers, all right? Now, as you inhale here, sorry, my hair is on the way. <laughs> okay, <laughs> when you inhale here, bring, bring your elbows back, squeeze your bum and lift your chest. And as you exhale, bend your knees and go down. Inhale, come up. Press your elbows back. Exhale, send your weight back. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Keep pressing your elbows back. And make sure that you're squeezing your bum to come up and down. Don't let your head pull forward with your shoulders. Keep those blades engaged so that you can avoid that. And last one. And stay and breathe. Okay. 
and inhale back to an upright and exhale, relax, shoulders back and down, close your eyes, take a few moments and observe. We'll take one more breath here, full deep breath. And when you're ready, you're gonna cross your legs. You can go by the wall, by the way, if you need to, bring your right leg over the left, and some of you might actually cross right, bringing the feet parallel. Some of us won't do that. You can keep that foot slightly in front. So it all depends on your knees. And do watch for the left uh, knee, do not lock it. Keep your toes um, soft. Uh, you can use them when you're losing your balance. You can let them go down, help you to recover, and then try to activate them once again to the best of your ability. Breathe deeply here and find your balance. Remember, by the wall is an option always. Squeeze your bum. And on your next inhalation, reach your arms up. You maybe go gently back, you don't have to. And as you exhale, hinge at the hips. Send your um, torso forward and find that place that works for you. If this <clears throat> shoulder position is too much, bring your arms behind you, that's okay. Watch for your balance, do not lock your knees, it's important. Go by the wall, squeeze your inner thighs together, send your tailbone up. Remember your arms can go forward or back. This is all depending on the neck and the shoulders. Inhale, you can keep your hands where they are or bring them to the hips or reach forward and exhale, come all the way up. Reach up as you inhale, maybe back bend and exhale, hands by your sides, uncross your legs <clears throat> and shake the tension off. We're gonna do the other side when you're ready. Cross the other way. Remember, don't lock your knees. Squeeze your bum. Activate your feet. Find your balance, go by the wall if you need to. And when you're ready, reach your arms overhead. Maybe back bend, you don't have to. And as you exhale, hinge from the hips forward. Check with your balance, check with your shoulders and your hips and of course your knees. Once you get to your position, draw your shoulders into its sockets or bring your arms behind you for those of you who have any neck concerns, shoulder concerns, so either or will do, try to send your tailbone back, keep breathing. Inhale, reach forward and exhale, come up. Inhale, maybe back bend, and exhale, release your hands by your sides, uncross your legs, walk it out, and shake the tension off. Let me know what you think about this one. Okay, so next one. Oh, <clears throat> so when you are ready, so once again, this is inspired in her, in her series. I'm not doing it exactly as she said, because it's pretty advanced, so. Here we go. Squeeze your bum and bring your right leg forward and bend your knee, bring it right over the left thigh. So you can bend a standing leg if you want. Some of you will clasp the foot behind the calf. I can't, so you can do that if you like. Find your balance. Maybe reach your arms back. Maybe bring your right hand under the left, hug yourself. Maybe top of the hands touching, maybe palms touching. Elbows 
at the level of the shoulders, shoulders back and down and move your forearms away from your face. One more breath. Inhale, extend, open your arms, like forward. Exhale, release down, walk it out, and shake the tension off. And we'll do the other side. So <clears throat> micro bend your knees and bring your left leg forward and have your inner thigh right over the right leg, the right thigh. Um, yeah, your thighs are just squeezing in. And you can clasp your foot behind you and find your balance first. <laughs> and reach out as you inhale. And as you exhale, hug yourself, bringing the left arm under the right. You can stay here or bring the top of the hands together or bring your palms to touch. You can always bring your toes to the floor, your uh, left toes to the outside of your right foot. Elbows in line with the shoulders. Forearms away from the face and shoulders down, breathe. One more breath. And inhale, come out. Extend your leg, hands by your sides, and exhale down and walk it out. Next one, we're going, actually let's do this part along the mat. And have your legs as wide to the sides as you, as you are comfortable, not super wide if you're quite flexible. And then have your toes facing forward. Relax your shoulders back and down, squeeze your bum. And as you inhale, bring your arms at a T position. And as you exhale, hinge to your right and bring your hand down. So you can keep your top hand up or bring it on your lower back. Now, she says, touch your foot to the outside of, uh, like with your hand, touch outside your foot. If you hinge forward into your side bend, that's okay. Uh, that's okay. Just make sure this feels all right and try to keep your shoulder moving upwards. You don't have to touch here. You can stay here or you can keep your uh, side bend up here. For me, it feels much better here. So you check which one works for you. You can have a block too or a chair or something to uh, help you to support. Make sure you're not pushing your knee inwards, by the way. Watch for the neck. And as you inhale, reach your arm up and exhale, push yourself up. Relax, shoulders back and down. Awesome, we're gonna go on to the other side. Inhale, reach out, and exhale, hinge to your left. Bring your arm down, and once again, your right hand can go up or onto your lower back. Depending what works for you, you can hinge forward and bring your hand down, just to make sure that it will support your hips and your shoulders. Breathe, and your back. Keep your feet active. Take one more breath, full deep breath. And as you inhale, bring your arm up and pull yourself up as you exhale, release, shoulders back and down, walk it out if you want to. We're gonna go into a gentle twist. First, lengthen through the spine, inhale, squeeze your bum, and exhale, rotate your torso towards the right. Heel of the right hand on the sacrum, which is slightly below the sacrum. And you can have your left hand opening your shoulder. Not twisting, you guys, just opening your shoulder. So with your right hand, you keep your hip facing forward. With your left hand, you gently push your shoulder back. Keep your feet active, breathe. 
the gaze can go towards the back or can go towards the center of the chest. Just check where feels right for you. We'll take one more breath, full deep breath. And the next time you inhale, with control, come back to center. And exhale, release your torso forward, shoulders back and down. We're going uh, on to the other side. So when you're ready, lengthen through the spine, engage your buttocks, rotate to the left. Left hand on your sacrum and your right hand right on the left shoulder, sending your shoulder back, giving a nice stretch. So remember with your left hand, you keep your left hip forward rather than going onto a twist with the pelvis. And breathe. Adjust your uh, gaze so that your neck is comfortable. We'll take one more breath, full deep breath. And the next time you inhale, come back to center and exhale, release, shoulders back and down. Oh boy, I'm sweating so much. I don't know about you. Shake it. Perfect. Next one. We're going on to the giraffe stretch. So giraffe stretch, we can go towards the short end of the mat once again. And we're gonna keep the spine neutral to the best of our ability. So when you are ready, have your uh, feet shoulder width apart or so, and the edges of your hands, the, uh, the pinkies edges, you're gonna bring them towards the creases of the legs, pushing your hips back. So you're gonna bring your uh, hips almost into an anterior tilt. Then draw your rib cage in. So try not to pop your rib cages, but do let your, um, your pelvis go back. Inhale here, lift the collarbone, and bring your gaze up. So once again, watch for that rib cage. And on your next exhalation, push your hips back. If you need to remove the extra flesh from your tummy, you do that. And breathe. Your gaze is somewhere on the mat, depending on the neck. You can be looking towards the top of the mat. Do not push your knees back. And maybe bring your hands behind your legs. Breathe. Relax your toes. Think about lifting your collarbone, bone, your chest, and your delbone. Maybe your head goes up, but it doesn't have to, depending on the neck. And we'll take one more breath, full deep breath. Inhale here. And exhale, hands on your thighs. Bend your knees, and we're going to slowly come up. Walk up. Maybe hands at the creases of the legs, lengthen through the spine. Maybe gaze goes up, inhale. And exhale, come back down, walk it out, and shake the tension off. So now we're going to go on to the tummy. If you need a blanket to be uh, a support under your pelvis, you're welcome to get one. Otherwise, no fancy way. We're just moving towards the belly and bring yourself onto your crocodile position. So remember your crocodile is toes touching, heels out, and stack your hands under the forehead, breathe. We'll take one more breath, full deep breath. When you're ready, bring your feet uh, parallel, toes pointing straight back. Press the top of the feet on the floor, pick up the knees. Press your arms onto the floor and draw your sh uh, elbows right below the shoulders. Press your palms down, draw your shoulders back and down. 
press your pubic bone onto the floor and engage your buttocks. Every time you breathe in and out, feel your tummy pressing gently against the floor. Watch for the neck, gaze can go forward or up. Massaging the internal organs with the breath, pressing yourself down as you inhale and empty as you exhale, sinking your hips on the floor. Breathing deeply. And take one more breath, full deep breath. And with control, release your knees on the ground, stack your hands, elbows out to the sides, forehead down. Take a few moments here. This time when you're ready, bring your legs mat width apart and press the top of the feet on the floor. Extend your arms forward, and as you inhale, lift your head, and inch by inch, walk your hands in towards the body for the wooden soldier. Draw your shoulders back and down, and find that place that works for you. Continue to draw your navel in towards the spine. Keep pressing your hands down and forward. Make sure this is not pinching your back. We'll take one more breath here, full deep breath. Inhale, and as you exhale, just like you went up, you go down inch by inch, walk your hands to the front, and then elbows out to the side, stack your hands. Bring your feet closer together, big toes touch, heels out. Take a few moments here, breathe. We're gonna equalize differently. We're not gonna do plow today. Um, we can start working towards that one, but not today. So we're gonna bring our toes further up to point straight back and bring your hands under the shoulders as you inhale. And as you exhale, push yourself up, walk onto your knees, have your knees closer together and sit back on your heels. Then you may remove the extra flesh. Try to keep your knees together unless it hurts and round your back forward, let your forehead relax down. If this is too much for your knees, for your hips, you can go onto a high cat stretch instead. So pick the one that will work for your hips and your knees, and then relax and breathe. Don't let your mind wander. If none of the two options I gave you works for you today because maybe your wrists don't like going on tabletop, go on your back and draw your knees together towards the chest. You can use a strap, hug them tightly. You'll get the same shape I have right now. And even if it works for you, maybe bring your forehead towards the knees if your neck allows. Otherwise, knees to chest. We'll take two more breaths here. And as you take your next inhalation, bring your hands under the shoulders and exhale, push yourself up. If you were on your back, you can release your feet on the floor, extend your legs for a few moments and observe. We'll take a few moments here or on a kneeling position, tall kneeling position, if that's uh, better for your body and just check Cross-legged position is also an option. Just watch your breath.
We'll take one more breath here, full deep breath. And when you are ready, walk your body to the front and help yourself onto your seated position. Now, so we um, have lotus and forward bend from half lotus. So we're going to do sukhasana. So from your sukhasana, so you want to have your right leg in front. We're going to hinge forward from the hips. You're going to get a nice stretch through the glute. And some of you will rest the hands on the floor. Some of you will stack the, uh, the fist and rest down. If you have props around, you can gather them and stack your hands. Those of you who are comfortable with half lotus, you're going to bring that same right leg up. And first, you're going to rock your baby a few times just to make sure that it feels right on your knee. And when you are ready, you're going to bring that um, left heel towards the glute and your right heel towards your um, groin and try to find your center. Maybe activate both feet. Lengthen through the spine as you inhale, and as you exhale, hinge forward, and maybe stack your fist or rest your arms forward, or whatever version. Make sure your pelvis is neutral, even though you might allow your upper back to round. Whatever works, breathe deeply. Watch for your neck. You don't want your knees to be torquing or your hip to be upset, so you don't have to go into half lotus. You can go into sukhasana and you'll still get a pretty good stretch through your uh, right hip and glute. We'll take one more breath, and when you're ready, walk yourself back up on your next exhalation. Inhale, hands on your knees or your thighs, and exhale, shoulders back and down. Take a few moments on your sukhasana or your half lotus. Observe. When you are ready, Open your eyes, lean back, extend your legs forward, shake the tension off, move your feet side to side, and we're gonna cross onto Sukhasana on the other side, so left leg in front. So before we choose either um, half lotus or Sukhasana on this side, we're gonna take the front leg, so in this case your left leg, bring it up, and hold onto the ankle and onto the knee, and we're gonna rock the baby. So remember here is where we test the knee, the hip, and then we check with the back as well. If it's too much, you don't have to go into the next step. You can relax again onto Sukhasana. Otherwise, if it feels all right, you're gonna move the leg towards the right and bring your left heel towards the right glute and your left uh, heel towards the right hip. Activate your feet, lengthen through the spine, hands on your knees on Sukhasana or on your half lotus, inhale here, and as you exhale, from your hips, hinge forward. Once you feel the stop of your hip or of your whatever part of your body says enough, please listen to it. And then maybe rest your hands on the floor, maybe stack. So remember, it will be looking very different for everybody. And maybe side to side will also uh, vary, so it's okay. As long as you're not pinching any joint and you're not getting into any nerve, it's fine. Continue to breathe. We'll take one more breath, full deep breath. And when you are ready, 
walk your hands up the legs, come back to an upright position, lean back and extend your legs and shake the tension off, move. Now for the next part, you can have your blankets under your knees if you like. We're gonna bend the knees and walk the feet wide apart and you're gonna find that place that works for you. If it works for you, you're gonna hinge right from the hips, remove the extra flesh. If you have a blanket, then try to get the flesh on the blanket, your seat bones on the floor. Those are pointing up and maybe hold onto the toes. You don't have to, if this is a no for your body, have your hands in front of you for support. You don't have to go too far uh, forward. Remember, you always have the option to pat your knees, throw your shoulder blades together, elongate the back of the neck, breathe deeply. One more breath. If you had your hands on your toes, bring your hands on the floor and on your next exhalation, walk your hands up the legs, come back to an upright. You may help your knees, hands under the creases of the legs, bend the knees, reach forward and bounce. The last part, we sit on our heels. Unless you have any knee concerns, you can go ahead and sit in Sukhasana again, half lotus if you like that one. Or if you want to even sit on the chair, be, um, be my guest, go for it. You can have your feet, like if you go onto your uh, heels, you can have your feet on your blanket, right at the, uh, at the curve of your uh, ankle. You can have props on your seats if you decide to go onto this version. Remember, it's a... Um, it's only about having your spine neutral. So whatever promotes that alignment, that's what we do. Perfect. So relax your shoulders back and down. Reach your hands in front of you, palms facing up. Let your shoulders be over your hips and breathe. The next time you inhale, you're gonna count four with your right hand using your fingertips from index to pinkies. As you exhale, count four with the other hand. Inhale for four using your right hand. Exhale four using your left hand. Continue at your own pace. You receive the pranic flow through the right side and you let go through the left side. Exhale. Continue at your own pace. Now, if you are comfortable with kumbhaka, if you have done kumbhaka and it's okay, you're, um, you have no concerns with high blood pressure or heart condition or eye pressure or you're not, so you don't suspect being pregnant and also um, making sure that you don't have a headache or that your sinuses are blocked because that can also be an, another reason why you could, um, yeah, you should just not do it. It won't feel comfortable. If you are um, okay doing this pranayama, you're gonna inhale again, four on the inhale, uh, on the right, and on the left, four and then we hold the breath for eight counts and count four with the right and four with the left and inhale right 
and exhale left four counts and maybe we hold and we count four and other side four and inhale right again exhale left hold other hand inhale right exhale left continue like that or or hold for four counts on the right and four counts on the left one more breath like this and relax and observe your breath. We're gonna continue to build onto this breath because we can do it with a different hand position. So when you are ready, tuck your chin onto your chest and blink your eyes open, bring your gaze forward, relax, and we're gonna go onto our backs Extend your legs, hands by your sides, palms facing up. Notice how the blood brushes down to your feet, to your legs. Use that as your main focus. Before we go on to butterfly position, if there is any stretch that your body is craving for, you can go for it now. Maybe hug your knees and rock side to side, or rest your feet on the floor and swing your knees side to side, or happy baby or anything at all. You now you can stay here in Shavasana for a little longer. And when you are ready, bend your knees, rest your foot soles on the floor, and have your butterfly position. Have your knees move out to the sides, foot soles touch. Move your head side to side, relax your neck, relax your eyes and your jaw, observe your breath. On your next breath, bring your knees up and extend your legs to the floor. Don't let your mind wander. Relax every corner from toes to crown.
you are welcome to stay here for as long as you need. Otherwise, on your next breath, wiggle your toes and fingers, move your feet side to side, move your hands, stretch your arms overhead, and tense every muscle from toes to fist. Brun face, tight, tight, tight. And release, and again, flex or point and squeeze. And release, and last one, make it count, point or flex your feet, prune face. And let all tension go. Bend your knees and bring your foot soles on the floor, fall onto your favorite side and take a few moments here, breathe. We're gonna use our top hand to slowly help ourselves up on the next exhalation. And once here on your seated position, comfortable seated position, maybe cross your legs or any position that is supportive of your hips, your knees, and your back. You're going to bring your hands together, shoulders back and down, relax your jaw, observe your breath. We're going to seal our practice with the sound and vibration of OM. Inhale. Exhale, inhale to OM. Relax your jaw and your face. Inhale, deeply expand. Side out. Again, inhale. Side out. Last one, inhale. Let all tension out. Tuck your chin onto your chest and blink your eyes open. Gaze forward. Shower yourself with your good vibes and shake off the tensions and stresses and whatever it is you carry around. Thank you, yogis. Have a fantastic day. Namaste.